Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters for WrestlingMayhemShow.com at Mayhem Show on the Twitter for that if you want to converse with us. We have so much fun, especially on Monday Night Raw. You guys are really entertaining last night. I really appreciate that. Um, so big shouts to everybody involved with that. But of course, please check out our friends IndieWrestling.us. Uh, we got pre-orders for the DVD of Night of Superstars 4, including Hall of Famers like Ric Flair, Kevin Nash, a tremendous match with DJ Zima Ion from TNA against... Um, I keep calling Evan Moore Matt Seidel of Ring of Honor. It's, it's fine Evan on the Twitter, so I'm completely into it. Uh, he was also on the commentary. Uh, Mark Madden pops in on commentary towards some of those matches. And just a fun, fun night all up and down. Friends of the show involved. Legends. So much more. So with that, I want to talk about WWE today. WWE. So, I've promised i would try to never do that again um but a big story coming out here uh yesterday as i was scanning things during raw according to our friends over at wrestle zone a uh, big update more oh this is the more details i didn't even the first one i found holy crap uh but actually this is the one i found i believe uh but no a big update more details uh lawsuits filed by three former wwe stars most of it, it seems to be around the idea of a concussion lawsuit it's actually a new class action lawsuit that all three of them are involved with there's 47 pages long to this ryan sakota and i haven't looked these up i can't i'm not entirely sure who these these guys are uh one, one of them i do know um he he, he, he says that uh, WWE runs by in intimidation and abuse and does not discuss uh, or take concussions or or does not discuss or treat concussions or symptoms. Um, he says that WWE's medical staff uh, told him not to go to sleep or he might die after taking a super kick that gave him a concussion. Um, he says that uh, WWE has disregarded the health and safety to the point that it left him traumatized. Wow. Uh, Russ McCullough claims that he was struck unconscious in a WWE ring back at a live event in Cincinnati, Ohio, and was then hit with 15 chair shots without WWE's trainers intervening. And I'm wondering what age this happened with as well. The first one's at 2013. The other one is Luther Range, who claims he was once knocked out by Big Show, and even after he vomited as a result, he was not given any medical treatment to WWE. Um, this is this is uh, intriguing. Uh, you kind of one WWE more pro mo mo money more problems right it seems like there's something coming out there's some kind of new lawsuit there's something happening uh every so often and uh, if you're on video i got a wonderful botch spot comic that talks about hey in the contract did you know taking time off for concussions for failures from uh, vince mcmahon go check out botchbot.com it's a tremendous tremendous comic book and really lends to that creativity in wrestling fandom that i talked about on friday's edition of the show over on uh, the youtube page but um i wwe is certainly this is a trend now I think this is not just money grubbers, not just anything else. It is part of the conversation, and and people are coming out of the woodwork and say, "What I can do? What for a concussion? I can actually get go after them for that." And it still remains to be seen what all you know uh, happens there. Professional wrestling is unfortunately, I think, going to be changing, and for and unfortunately, in a legality case. Um, you know, I've been on indie shows in recent months where I see somebody take an unprotected chair shot, and now that we know better as a society, I cringe. And especially this, you know, poor new person that's been wrestling for a couple months taking a shot like that, I, I cringe. I, is there some way that you will protect yourself? I Sure, I, and I'm, I'm hoping people involved accept the, the risk. Uh, but I don't think anybody should be taking that risk for the no money they're making and the potential one day, one day, one day, one day, maybe to to be a WWE superstar. You know what I mean? Um, that's that's my take on that in general. Um, but uh, I don't know. This is going to happen. We'll see. We'll see what's decided, and we'll see what happens. What happens to WWE? What happens in the ring? We've already seen so many changes, and this is, of course, I think before a lot of the changes. The 2013 thing um, really kind of concerns me because it's not chair shot at least, right? Um, but it's, it, it, I don't know. It, we'll, we'll see what happens with this and we'll be keeping an eye on the story as we go. Um, and, and, and if this happens in this way, and it probably won't happen for indies, uh, because there's no money for anybody to be sued for. Um, but will this happen with TNA? You know, I mean, we are already having that with Daphne, um, has had a case because of the reckless hardcore matches she was involved in, uh, that, that more or less, I think ended her career. 
unfortunately. I'm a big fan. Um, so what do you think of the concussion, uh, the concussion lawsuit that's going on now? Uh, kind of the trend of this uh, sort of thing and so much more. Please let me know at Sorgatron on the Twitter. If you find this video on YouTube, Facebook, or WrestlingManShow.com, leave a comment on your ideas about what's going on with this situation. And like I said, check out BossPot.com. Check out WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Tonight on the Indie Mayhem Show, we'll have Ring of Honor's... Uh, Chris LaRusso and Vicious Outcast Wrestling's uh, former champion as well. PWX heavyweight champion. I know he was for a bit as uh, added to that. And um, and we'll have a lot of fun here at 9 p.m. Eastern Time live at WrestlingMayhemShow.com and so much more WrestlingMayhemShow.com. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.